Welcome to my channel, The Volley Spoken 22. My name is Nadi. This channel is for adults only. Please like, comment, subscribe to the channel, you guys. If y'all like my readings, if y'all like my vibes, help me grow. We can grow together. So this is a general energy check-in for Sag. All right, Sag? So take what fit, leave what doesn't. Don't force anything into your life. If you have to ask who, what, when, where, how, and why, that means that the reading is not for you. I do curse on my channel, so if you don't like the cursing, you already know what to do. You can move to another channel. So, hello, Sag. I am back with another energy check-in for you guys. All right, I feel like... Y'all going to be coming into a new home if y'all already haven't. But I'm going to hop into some of the grounding energy. And then uh, we'll hop into the reading and see what messages Spirit has. Alright. So Spirit, what is the energy for Sag? What is the energy for Sag, please, Spirit? What is the energy for Sag? What is Sag energy? So, I feel like there's someone who hates it wherever they are. Okay, with the I hate it here. Y'all, I am using my naughty deck. This is my handmade deck. Okay, so I got it mixed up with my other deck. So, I feel like whatever this person is, they hate it there with I hate it here. I feel like this they could be somewhere where they have a child, okay? Um, I feel like you're out here being innocent, okay? I feel like whatever they hate, whatever they are, they're feeling stuck with the non curable card. I feel like they hate it. Whatever they are and they're feeling a bit on the stuck side, okay? And then we got your energy over here where you're just innocent. What's the energy for sex? This person is miserable without you. Okay, they want to let you know I'm miserable without you. All right, I feel like I knew this card was going to come out. So, the gay for pay card came out. That does not necessarily mean that this person is gay. It could just mean that they could be manipulating people with spell work. Like, they could be nip manipulating women sexually, like... For them, like, if they give them sex, okay, like, or lay the pipe down good or whatever a guy does or whatever a woman does, if they do it good, I feel like they feel like women will give them money or they feel like men would give them money. And I feel like that's what they're doing. They could be doing spell work to get money out of, out of people. Um, and spell work doesn't necessarily have to be candle magic. It can just be somebody just in their head just have some intention set on something but i feel like their intentions are set for manipulation to be honest all right what's the energy i feel as though this person was wearing a mask this whole time they were very manipulative they used people for money and they was doing spell work all right so these people this person was wearing a mask here okay now okay they went somewhere where they was and that manipulative energy, okay, trying to seduce somebody, trying to be a dude bigelow, male gigolo, and they done went somewhere and got stuck. They could possibly have gotten somebody pregnant or they could have went to someone who they have a child with. But this person watches you, okay? I watch you, all right? And this is obsessively. I feel like this person is getting their judgment. This is their judgment. This I watch you. And I'm, I hate it here. I'm miserable without you. This is this person's judgment, okay? This is their justice being served. I feel like this person wants to come in and have some type of amateur communication with you. All right? What's the energy? What's the energy for Sash, please? But this person is very materialistic. Like I said, they go around manipulating people or men for money. Okay, they think that they can just lay it down real good and they can get what they want. All right, I feel like these are things that this person manifests, material things. Like they don't manifest 
Okay, yeah, and this person wants another chance, but whoever this person is, they don't manifest things like security, stability. They manifest the latest Gucci bag, the latest Gucci shoes. Okay, but whoever this is wants another chance with you. I think I got that in another reader where this person was just misusing their uh, manifestations. I feel like you're out here being a boss lady, standing in your scrim, bossing up. Y'all could have did some shopping recently. Some of y'all could be business owners, self-made, okay? And I feel like y'all have an emperor that's going to be coming to, to match your energy, all right? And you got this past person that's over here just in a big mess, full of manipulation and doing drugs. This person's on drugs. And I feel like you are over here healing, bossing up, getting waiting on your emperor. And there's someone who wants another chance. I definitely get your energy here with the fire sign. Some of y'all could have been talking to another Sash, Leo, or Aries. Okay. This person is very sad. Ooh, I'm getting sad. Just sad. Ooh, every reading I do, this person always sad. When is you happy, sir or ma'am? I feel like there, there could be a house that could be going up for sale here. Also, like I said, somebody could be doing spell work, amateur kitchen magic, manifesting stupid, crazy things. Okay, somebody definitely is doing spell work here. I feel like somebody could have gotten fired from a job. I feel like there's a home. Maybe somebody can't pay their rent or their mortgage and the home is going to be going up for sale. I know that says for a hire, but this looks like a for sale sign as well for me. What's the energy for Sag? I feel like, yeah, there's someone who has been doing love spells here. All right. There's someone ha who has been doing spell work, possibly this karmic, immature spell work, trying to keep a masculine here. Love spells. Okay, possibly spell work to bring in materialistic things. Maybe this masculine could be on drugs, trying to do love spells, trying to manifest you back. Okay, because this person is miserable without you. This person is on drugs doing manifestations. What is they doing? This person is on drugs manifesting, y'all. Like, that's crazy and it's sad. It's dangerous. I feel like you're over here happy. You're healing. Some of y'all could have came into a new car recently. Bought a new car. Waiting on your emperor. All right. This person could have some type of sexually transmitted disease here. So be cautious from this past person. This past person is in a lot of energy. Like, I definitely feel like they use sex to manipulate people. For some of y'all, this person could be bisexual. But I'm not going to claim that for y'all. I just definitely am picking up on this person um, just manipulates people through sex to get what they want. And I feel like they have went out and picked up some type of STD. To be honest, okay, so be cautious, okay. I feel like they could do a lot of drugs. This person could be your soulmate, or this person could feel like you're their soulmate. Y'all, what time it is? Yeah, this person could feel like you're their soulmate, okay. This person is, um, this person is trying to do love spells, trying to keep you, trying to bring you into them because they feel like you're their soulmate. I feel like this person definitely is possessive. This person um, doesn't want anyone with you. This person does not want anyone with you, okay? Manipulative, possessive, and doing love spells. Take it how it fit. This could be you. This could be your person. This could be if this person is attached to a karmic, this could be the karmic. So just put your story into where it fits. But I feel like this person wants to get y'all pregnant. Look at this. Or some of y'all could already be pregnant from this person. Okay, but this part, I have been, I don't know what's been going on since yesterday, but the energy that I've been picking up is very heavy like this person wants to entrap you this person wants to get you stuck they don't want you to leave this person is very up and down one minute in the reasons they love you the next minute they hate you but i definitely been picking up like this person 
sees you as their soulmate and they want you to be pregnant for them. Okay. Yes, I feel like this this um this could be a twin flame soulmate because we have the boss man to the boss lady here. All right, this definitely could be um a business owner, a supervisor. Okay, but this is your twin flame and this person has some type of STD here. But the STD is curable. All right, but this person is definitely mad. This divine masculine, y'all. I cannot make this up. <laughs> this divine masculine is mad because they have a STD. But that STD is curable though. Okay. But the manipulation and trying to be a deuce bigolo male gigolo has gotten them an STD. Now, it's going to be curable, okay, within the next, you know, they could have found out from the past one to three months, days, or years that they had an STD, but it is curable. I feel like this person is not accepting it, even though it is curable. They're like, what the fuck? What am I doing? And they want to let you know that they regret everything. This narcissist, y'all, I cannot make this up. This <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. Thank you for these messages, Spirit. I'm so... Yes, this person is bisexual. Didn't I say that? So, definitely this person is bisexual. They could have been dealing with a bisexual same-sex karmic. And they could have went to jail. Or the karmic could have sent them to jail. Whoever this person is, I feel like they are under the persuasion of drugs. Okay, and they could be out here dealing with the same sex, and this person could have given them an STD, and now they have went to jail or tried. I'm telling you, this person is mad. This masculine is mad. I can't make this up, y'all. How? I'm, let me. Okay, hold up, y'all. I got this because y'all got to see what I'm seeing. Okay, so. This divine masculine <laughs> is big mad, okay, because they are burning, okay, they are currently healing right now. For some of them, they could have already started taking their medicine and their healing, but they were dealing with a bisexual, they were dealing with someone bisexual or they were dealing with the same sex, okay, but whoever this is was a karmic and this person they they get on drugs together okay and i feel like they could have gotten some type of arguments while they both were under persuasion of drugs the information about the std came out and somebody went to jail whether that's the karmic yes you're going to be getting a message soon this person is going to be sending you a message probably from jail or maybe a text message or you're going to get a phone call but an important message will be coming in okay Probably if some of y'all have slept with this person, y'all gonna be getting a message from the health department or something like that. Don't 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 shoot the messenger. I'm just sending the messages. Yes, this could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces who's gonna be sending you a message. And this is the spring. This is April. March, April, May. Okay, yeah, this coming real soon. If they haven't already, they will be. It's coming very soon. Very soon. Yes, this person is going to be changing, but they're still going to they're going to be changing the scene moving forward from whoever this is, this bisexual karmic or this same sex person, but they're going to be coming towards you wearing a mask, still playing games. So just be cautious. Okay, you need to hold back and not be interested in sex with this person because you're going to protect yourself that way because this person could have gotten some type of STD. Yay. So just, you just smoke your weed, sip your little drink, and hold back from this masculine because that's God protecting you. This person is going to be coming around for some of y'all. They already came or they're on their way for some of y'all. It's going to be the summertime. June, July, August. But spirit wants you to hold back so you can protect yourself. This person got an STD. For some of y'all, we did get the non-curable card out here too. For some of y'all people, it's curable. For some of y'all people, it's not curable. Non-curable. Where was that non-curable card? 
Yes, yeah, so for some of y'all, it's non-curable for some of y'all people. And for some of y'all, it's not so spirit wants you to hold back. Because this person is going to be coming towards you. They done got an STD from somebody. And some of y'all can't. They can't heal from it. Some of them, y'all, they can. But still, spirit wants you to hold back. Because when they come towards you, they probably going to be burning at that time. Okay? So, boss lady, hold back. Boss lady, stay protected. Protect yourself. Okay? Be strong. Okay? But be strong and intuitive when it comes to this person. Because they coming. Oh, my God. I don't like the energy that I've been picking up for this person, y'all. I don't like it. But I hope that y'all enjoyed the reading. Don't claim it. Okay? But if y'all enjoyed it, hit that like button. Comment. Subscribe to the channel. Help me grow. We can grow together. And until next time, Sash. Bye, you guys.